Hello and yajong to each and every one of you. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my brother's all-time favorite go-to stir-fry dish that he loves to make every time tomatoes are in season or if he wants to whip up something really really fast and delicious for dinner and that is chicken stir-fried with tomatoes and in the Mon Lane dialect we like to call this dish kaka ginju tzilusho and kaka refers to as chicken and ginju means to stir-fry with and tzilusho refers to as tomatoes so this dish is very simple, very savory, also very comforting and delicious to have anytime you want to use up your tomatoes. So I'm going to be showing you how to make it today because you know tomato season is coming to an end and I have so much I need to get rid of and this is just the perfect time to make this dish so let me share it with all of you so before we get started I'm gonna go pick some of the tomatoes that are growing in my garden this year and then we'll just get to it so let's go Okay, so here are the tomatoes that I picked earlier. I'm using a variety of cherry tomatoes, some heirlooms, and some Ace 55. I cut them into bite-sized pieces here. If you want, you can use any types of tomatoes, but I prefer garden tomatoes because they're a lot sweeter and create more flavor. For the meat, I am using chicken thigh, cut up into bite-sized pieces here with the skin on. If you want, you can use chicken breast for a leaner stir-fry or also use pork. Okay, so for aromatics and herbs, I have some chopped onions here, some minced garlic, one lemongrass that I cut in half and also pounded to release some of the oils and aromatics. And for the herbs, I have some Thai basil, some cilantro here, and some green onions. For the seasonings, pretty basic. I have some black pepper here, salt, soy sauce, and oyster sauce. And that's it. So let's go ahead and start cooking. So in a pan, I'm going to add in about two tablespoons of oil. And then we're going to drop in the lemongrass and the minced garlic. I'm cooking this on medium heat so I don't burn the garlic. Just cook this for about 15 seconds or so. Go ahead and add in the chicken. Give it a pretty good stir. Add in the salt and the pepper. And then bump up the heat to high. I'm putting it on high so that we can actually create some good coloring onto the meat. Let it sit for about two or three minutes without stirring so that you can actually get some good sear onto the chicken, which creates really good flavor. So it's nice and golden brown in some parts of the chicken. Once the chicken is fully cooked, we're going to create a hollow center and then we're going to add in the tomatoes. The onions. Add up the rest of the seasonings. And give it a good stir. And then let it sit and cook for about two minutes to release some of the tomato juice here. At this point, you can cook it even longer to reduce the amount of liquid. Some people like it a little bit more on the brothy side, but I like it more on a thicker side. So I'm gonna cook it a little bit longer to reduce the amount of liquid juice here. I like it more on a thicker side like this. So at this point, the consistency is good. I'm gonna stop here and go ahead and add in all the herbs. Okay, 
give that a stir to welt some of the herbs and then immediately turn the heat off and this is it go ahead and taste it for seasonings and then we can serve it with some rice if you want you can also add some chili peppers in here to make it a little bit spicy but before you serve it don't forget about the lemongrass you can remove those so that they're not in your way when you're serving it Okay, so this is pretty much it for the stir fry. Very simple, but full of flavor and very savory and slightly sweet from the tomatoes. So the best way I like to eat this is simply over fresh steamed jasmine rice here. Um, and that's pretty much it.